Tennessee Tuxedo? That's right. I'm a reporter for the Megopolis Tribune. My newspaper's doing a story on the zoo. Well, uh, you have come to the right place. I know all about the zoo. Yes. Well, we understand that there's a feud going on between you and Jaboa Jump. How come you two don't get along? I mean, what's the story? What's the story? Well, let me tell you. It all started a long, long time ago when the tuxedos and the jumps were neighbors back in the hills. Only it's time to eat. See if there's any vittles in the cupboard. Uh, gee, Tennessee, the cupboard is bare. There's nothing to eat. Well, at least we have our apple tree in the hollow. A couple of apples would taste mighty good right now. Let's go. Hey, Tiger, it's time to eat. See what's in the cupboard. There's nothing here. The cupboard's bare. At least we have our apple tree in the hollow. Hey, a couple of apples will taste mighty good right now. Come on, let's go. Here's a beauty. I'll just... Tennessee, you keep your apple-picking hands off my apples. Your apples? This is my apple tree. It's my apple tree. It's on my property. Tight need it. The property line goes from Boundary Rock there to that point there. Oh, no. It goes from Boundary Rock there to that point over there. The tree's on my property. It's on my property. Gee, Tennessee, I'm still hungry. Never mind, Chumley. Tennessee Tuxedo will not fail. That apple tree is ours, and I'm going to get those apples. Now, here's my plan. First, you go out and attract their fire, and then I'll sneak down and capture the tree. Yoo-hoo. Chumley, in here. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Now for one of my delicious apples. Ready and fire. Ah, this is a beauty. Hey, tuxedo. Get away from my apple tree. Uh, gee, Tennessee, I'm still hungry. Tennessee Tuxedo will not fail. I'll get those apples. Now, here's my plan. Now, here's my plan. <laughs> I know, I know, you're hungry. Well, here's what we're going to do. Hey, Tiger, will you look at that? Come on! All right, Chumley. We'll just fasten this rope onto the winch and crank that old apple tree right into the cabin. We'll show him whose apple tree it is. If Tennessee thinks he's going to pull an apple tree into the cabin, <laughs> he is due for a surprise. <laughs> Be almost here, Chumley. Jaraboa? Yeah. You say it's your apple tree, and I say it's mine, right? Yeah. Well? 
What say we go to see old Phineas Whoopi, the man with all the answers, and let him settle it? Okay, by me, because I know how it's going to be settled anyway. Come on, let's go. Well, now, that's quite a problem. The only way to solve it is for you boys to do some surveying. Exactly what I said. We have to, uh, uh, what surveying? Well, surveying is the method by which you can find out exactly where your property line is. Here, let me show you on the three-dimensional blackboard. Surveying is very old. The Egyptians used it every year to find the property lines after the Nile River had flooded and washed away all the boundary markers. And, of course, every schoolboy knows that George Washington was a surveyor. Uh, gee, I thought he was president. Chumley! Hey, uh, look, all this historic stuff is okay, but how about our line? How's this surveying stuff gonna tell us where that is? I'm coming to that. According to the map of your property, the line starts here at Boundary Rock. We know that. The question is, which way does it go? Why, the direction is written right here on your map. It says the line goes north 67 degrees east. Yeah, but how do we know for sure which direction that is? You have to use a transit, which is the surveyor's most important instrument. Look at this one I have over here. You can see that it's a small telescope mounted on a tripod. The telescope can swing around in any direction. Attached to the telescope is a scale which tells us the angle that the telescope is pointing. All we have to do is move the transit around until it is pointing in the direction indicated on the map and... And then you look through it? Right, my boy. Put your transit at Boundary Rock. Set it at the correct angle. Send Chumley out. And when you see him, the line between the rock and Chumley will be the right boundary line. All right, Jeroboa. We'll survey the boundary line and find out exactly who owns that tree. Agreed? Sure. I know what the survey is going to show. The tree's on my side of the boundary. But if it isn't, you'll agree to whatever the survey shows? Sure, sure, sure. Come on, let's go. Thanks a million, Phineas. A little more to the right, chum. That's it. That, that's it. Good. There you are, Jerboa. According to the map and the survey, that tree is on my property. Okay, okay, so it's your apple tree. What did I tell you, Chumley? Tennessee tuxedo does not fail. Come on. At last, we're going to have some of those apples. Uh, but Tennessee, there aren't any apples. Uh, that big cannon of Jeboa's blasted them all into the next county. What? Jeroboa jump ruined my apples? Where's my gun? Uh, it's in the cabin. Nobody ruins my apple tree. <laughs> and that's how the feud between the tuxedos and the jumps started. And it's still going on? Yep. That Jeroboa just won't give up. Yo! <laughs> All right, Jeroboa. You asked for it. Come on and see, see, see. Tennessee Tuxedo. See, see, see. Tennessee Tuxedo. Tennessee Tuxedo and his tail. 